Oh hey, what's going on? Didn't see you come in there. Welcome back to another video. And uh, fucking get this shit rolled up. Uh, this probably won't be a long one. There's not too much to talk about right now. But I'll be coming back with another. I'll be coming back with another video that I want to hear your guys' opinions <laughs> if you care about the subject matter. But I'll probably be later on. Um, I'll get into one little topic that a lot of people aren't really aware of. I think Radical Rex made some topics on it, but he doesn't really know the answer to it. Um, so, I'll be getting to that in a second. But first thing, um, if anyone wants to do me a favor, watch my back. Um, anyone uh, who wants to uh, like call out an 8-Bit Eric, uh, be much appreciated. So, over on uh, Radical Rick's channel, there's a couple creep accounts looming around there. Creep accounts that um, just have these the creepy images as their avatar. Uh, they hide behind something. They have no activity on their channel to where it's like there's any like reasonable good uploads or an uh, image of themselves or their voice. It's not even one of these creep accounts that um, is obsessed with me. So I figured it's probably either a Prince of Fallen or a... 8-Bit Eric or some other maybe little triggered loser that's just so butthurt because they just were acted like a little baby on my channel and I banned them and they're butthurt over it. Because they don't like it when someone like cool rejects them. Like when a nerd gets rejected. Like, oh, oh, and they cry. Like, oh, I, I wanted to hang out here. Like there's a couple. I uh, get to the chopper, uh, that clammy weirdo. Like, these are, like, real big losers that whine and complain all the time. I'm like, look, just leave, okay? I don't want you. I don't want babies on my channel. So then they all cry over on Radical Rick channel. Oh, Darius banned me because you didn't like my complaining. I'm like, if you were cool, you could have stayed. But you're going to act like a little bitch like this? Then you're banned. I'm sorry. I don't like little twerps in my comment section like you're just not welcome here andrew c another little twerp in my comment section like i'm like just go i don't want you here you're acting like a little loser and so these little twerps these little nerds these little twiggy little nerds get all upset by it and i don't care whatever <laughs> i don't want little twiggy little nerds hanging out on my channel i don't just get out of here i want like men you know, women. <laughs> I want adults. I don't want little whiny little nerdy kids hanging around. Don't. Like, just get out of here. <laughs> you know? So, I think, so, one's that clammy. Uh, Canadian Gamer knows who that clammy thing is. It's a image of a girl. Really weird account. See him on Radical Rick's channel. Cause I think what Ape and Eric is trying to do is he's now making alt accounts to kind of gain trust with people. He's always tried something with his alt accounts, right? But no, he's like that. But we realize, like, this clammy thing's weird. It's like representing chlamydia. And um, this person is always the first person to comment on my videos sometimes. So it's Eric. Like, it could be Eric because it's got all the same characteristics. A disgusting, gross creep account. Just, ugh. So if you can do me a favor, if you see them on Radical Rich channel... Call him out. Call him a weird little creep or something. And if you do call him a weird little creep, and if I see that reply, you can have a video request from me. You can request any video or anything you want me to talk about. You're doing me a favor. So, yeah, if you want to watch my back, and if you're going to look out for Clammy, call out Clammy. Um, also, if you see Andrew C., ask him nicely to... Sh He's been wanting to fight me. He says he lives in Toronto and he wants to fight me. I'm like, come on, let's go. And he's too scared to like, get, like show me where he's at or anything like that. He's too scared. He wants to just meet in a public place where nothing can be done. He's scared shitless of me. So I'm like, come on, like show me what you look like. I want to know you're a real count so you're not just some troll luring me somewhere and then I waste my time. Like I got to know you're a real person first. So just make a video yourself or show your voice. No, nah, he won't do it. He's too scared. Um, it's even Eric trying to scare me. That's all it is. I'm like, hey, like, Eric, come on. Come up with a better plan than this. But he won't. He won't. He won't fucking do it. Because <laughs> it's Eric. So if you see Andrew C. 
Tell him, hey, come on, Truxton's waiting. Just put, Truxton's, Truxton's waiting. Waiting to show yourself on camera. Waiting to show your voice. Let's go. He's scared. Because he knows I'll laugh at him when he, when he sees that he's like some little Twitter loser. Hey, Truxton, I don't like you. He's too scared because he's going to be some little, little bitch. And it's funny, he pretends that he's like from the streets. I'm just laughing at him. You're not from the streets. I'll show you what's from the fucking streets. All right? Fucking loser. <laughs> so yeah, he won't show himself. He's too scared. Whatever. So if you see him in Rick's comment, Andrew C. Or that clammy, go tell him. Truxton's waiting. Come on. We want to see a real account here. Let's go. Scared. Look at me. I'm in front of the camera. Look at you. Hiding behind little creep accounts. You know, like, who's going who's gonna to side with who? You know? <laughs> the creep or the guy in the camera? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Eric, you're so sad with your little accounts. You're just obsessed with Rick to where you want to even try and make friends with Rick on an alt account. It's so sad. Like, you have no friends that you have to, like, pretend to be Radical Rick's friend. That's the level that you've sunk to now. Wow. You need to get some friends, Eric. Seriously. Um, all right, so um, the other topic... Um, just, I don't know, Rick was talking about Cinemask the other day, he had a picture of Bootsy, I didn't even get through the whole video, but, uh, a lot of people don't understand, like, why did Bootsy just, like, leave Cinemask, or, like, why all of a sudden, he had a new series that was going to start off called Bootsy Beats, uh, where he was going to show walkthroughs on how to get through games, it was a good idea, I thought, at the time, <laughs> um, and he up and he did a video about how to do battle toads and all that shit. Not bad. Could have been a little more entertaining, but it was an okay video. And that was it. Once that was done, the series Bootsy was it. And I know it was after like a couple months. Like, where the fuck's Bootsy? Like, he, I thought we were gonna have a new series going on. So I had to look in. Like, something's going on. Like, he's not on the channel anymore. No, I understand. Like, he was only doing. He was only in like uh, the board James episodes. Like, well, he's not really on there much anyway, but let's go see. Let's just go search in Google what happened to Bootsy. And uh, so, yeah, there was forum posts and stuff like that all talking about it because people were wondering the same thing. And there was no definitive answer. Um, James, Mike, or anyone never came out and explained. I think they may have said, I'm now looking back to when I researched. They may have said that he's no longer there, but they never gave a reason why. There was always the question, why did he leave? No one knew the reason. Um, after a lot of research, after a decent enough research, I came to the conclusion what it was, and it was all over, and everyone else had the same opinion. And I agreed with everyone else, yeah, that's why. And the reason why is because if you go and click over on Bootsy's Twitter, Holy shit, does he ever hate Donald Trump? <laughs> Holy shit, is he caught into that shit. Um, very outspoken. And um, that's just something that Cinemasker doesn't want to touch with a 10-foot pole is politics. Um, at the time, especially before I think Screenwave moved in or however that business shit all works. Um, this is back before the fat guys invaded. Um, the fucking, uh, the post that Bootsy was making, he's just talking like a radical left-wing psycho. I mean, if you don't like Donald Trump and all that stuff, you know, like, you're on, if you're on that side of the coin, fine, but when you're in that level of Bootsy that's in it, just obsessing over it, I mean, you can't have that in, in, in a, in a situation where Cinemaster is in. They, they don't. They strive themselves from staying away from the politics, which is good for a channel like that. Just don't even go in that in that realm. And Bucci is all over that realm. Um, he's just very outspoken about much he dislikes Trump, and you're just pissing off half of your audience. The voting shows half you know half Americans are in favor of Trump's ideology. So just leave it at that. Learn to disagree. Learn to agree to disagree and. Stay out of it. It gets under your skin. You gotta let it go. You can't. You know, I, 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 I you know, I'm, fucking liberals drive me crazy. You know, <laughs> like, you know, but I keep it, 
the way it is, you know? I understand their point of view, and I just try and keep it civil. Don't even talk about it. Um, but that's why he left. Now, we don't know if he got kicked out. A lot of people are saying, like, Mike and James and all that, they were really pissed with each other. I think it might have been over politics. Maybe Bootsy was just like, how dare you vote for Trump? Maybe James said, I voted for Trump. And maybe Bootsy's just on his case. What are you doing voting for Trump? Who knows? They behind the scenes shit. There's been a lot of fighting with politics when that shit was up and still is. Like, they could have had just political disagreements with each other and just Bootsy's like, I'm leaving. I'm not going to be here with a bunch of Trump supporters. Um... I don't know if that's the situation, but I think it was all to do with that. Whether they asked Bootsy, look, you, you can't be doing this. you got to leave. Or Bootsy's like, oh, I'm leaving. I'm not working with a bunch of freaking conservatives. Who knows? Who knows the actual fallout of it? Um, but I'm starting to see clear that Cinema Massacre is a right-leading side. I, all those guys seem to me like a bunch of right they lead more to the right, it seems. You see, you heard Kieran's rant the other day. That was a complete right-wing rant that he was on the other day. Um, I, I'm seeing them pop up. They're all kind of... Tony, he's been... I think he, a lot of his talking points are a lot... Are really right-wing. I get the right-wing vibe from him. Um, I don't know if the rest of Cinemasker shares those viewpoints, but... James seems to kind of focus in when those topics get listed. So as I watch it, I kind of look like, huh, yeah, they look like they're more of like a, like a, like a right-wing group of guys to me. The way they act, the way Mike Matei is too, he's very anti-political, correct, very old-fashioned. I can definitely see them being, maybe not Trump supporters, but I don't know, you know, along the lines of that, where they're not going to obsess and hate Trump every day of their lives and stuff like that. So I think um, I, that, that's the reason why. I mean, I'll just say straight up, that is the reason why. I think it's safe to say. A lot of people come to that in conclusions as well. That was why he left or why he got let go or who knows. It could have just been a friendship followed. It might not have been. Business-wise, maybe James and Mike didn't mind them ranting about Trump on Twitter. Maybe they're like, fine, that's his business. He, he has the right to speak, you know. Maybe he has the right to speak his opinions. If it affects our site, we may have to let him go. Who knows? I'm just trying to think of ways that they were thinking. Maybe it was a friendship thing. Maybe, maybe Bootsy's always been a, you know, a hardcore modern liberal. Whereas he doesn't see eye to eye with Mike's views, James' views. And maybe they just had a friendship follow where they can't, they're disgusted with each other's viewpoints. Maybe Booty just getting too triggered. <sighs> Saying you guys are all a bunch of racists. You probably, maybe he's fucking calling Mike Matei and all these guys a bunch of racists and stuff like that. Oh, you guys don't like Muslims? And no, we're not saying we don't like Muslims. You know, these liberals, hey, they just fucking, oh. <laughs> Everyone's a fucking racist and a sexist to these psychos, so you know. You can never make you can never come to common grounds with these people like Bootsy. You can't. They're just if you don't agree with me, you're a racist or a sexist, you know, and you just can't talk to these people. But anyways, that's my viewpoint on that, and I made this video pretty long talking about that, so that'll be my discussion point. <laughs> I'll probably be back with another video. And yeah, look out for those two fucking uh, YouTubers. And if you can uh, you know, Say hi, Eric, or <laughs> Truxton's waiting, or something like that. Hell yeah, man. Fucking, I'll make a video just for you, all right? So, <laughs> you you have my back, I got yours. You, you, get, you know what I mean? So, all right, y'all, peace. Have a good one.